What's up guys it's me again Crushed Pixel. In this video I'd like to show you how you can make 360 degree Minecraft videos and VR Minecraft videos yourself. If you don't know what a 360 degree video is, on my YouTube channel I have two 360 degree videos which you can watch. They basically allow you to freely look around while watching the video which is very awesome. It also works on Android and iPhones where you can rotate your device to change where you're looking. The second type of video you can make is a VR video. VR or virtual reality videos are similar to 360 degree videos, but additionally you can watch them in 3D. For example using a Google Cardboard and your Android phone. So to get started you need the latest version of the Minecraft Replay mod, which has been released recently. It has to be version 1.0.6 or newer, because the ability to render VR videos has been added in this version. During the past months Johnny0702 and I have collaborated with some Google employees to add the ability to render VR videos to the replay mod. If you are not familiar with the replay mod yet, please watch my basic tutorial video to understand how to record your gameplay and make camera paths. I won't explain how to do so in this video. Once you've set up a camera path that you want in your 360 degree RVR video, click the render button in the upper left corner. Now is the time that you need to know which kind of video you want to make, a normal 360 degree video or a VR video which can also be watched in 3D. Please note that rendering VR videos takes twice as long as rendering 360 degree videos and the quality when watching them is a bit worse. If you want to render a 360 degree video, click on the rendering method drop down and select Equirectangular rendering. For 360 degree videos I highly recommend a resolution of 4320 x 2160 pixels, which is 4K. The reason why you should render in 4K is because not the whole video will be visible on your screen at once, but only a zoomed in part of it, because you don't see everything at once of course. The aspect ratio of 360 degree videos always has to be 2 to 1. If you want to render a VR video, select ODS rendering. Here I recommend a resolution of 3840 by 3840 pixels. I will explain to you later why you need exactly this resolution. The aspect ratio of rendered VR videos is always 1 to 1. Before you start rendering, how does YouTube know whether the video you uploaded is a 360 degree or a VR video though? To inform YouTube that your video is not a normal video, you have to inject some special metadata into the videos. This only works with MP4 videos and can be done using a special tool that Google provides you with. Alternatively, you can choose to directly inject the metadata using the replay mod itself. If you want to do this, go to the advanced settings tab and tick the inject 360 degree metadata checkbox. After the rendering has finished, you can directly upload the video to YouTube from within the replay mod. In case you haven't checked the inject 360 degree metadata box, the mod will insert the metadata automatically before uploading. However, if you want to add some music to the video or want to combine multiple camera paths into one video, you'll need to re-render the video using your video editing software. It is important that you maintain the same resolution when exporting 360 degree videos from your program, for example Premiere Pro, because otherwise the 360 degree effect won't properly work in the player. So if you've rendered your sequences from the replay mod in 4320 by 2160 pixels as I suggested, this is also the resolution your final edited video must have. If you re-render VR videos, you should not render them with an aspect ratio of 1 to 1. Instead, stretch the video to a resolution of 3840 times 2160 pixels, which is an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. The reason for this is that the maximum height that YouTube currently accepts for VR videos is 2160p. If your video has a higher resolution, for example 3840 by 3840 pixels, it will scale down the resolution to 2160 by 2160 pixels. 
if you render it at a distorted resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels though, it won't downscale the video as the height fits and you have more pixels that contain valuable sharpness for your video. YouTube is weird sometimes, I know. When uploading directly using the replay mod, the resolution is stretched automatically for you. Remember that whenever you render 360 degree or VR videos using an external software, for example Sony Vegas or Premiere Pro, that they have to be encoded as MP4 videos. I recommend the H.264 codec and a bitrate of 50,000 kilobytes per second for high quality results. After re-rendering the video using your video editing software, the metadata is lost. Therefore, download the metadata injector tool I've mentioned earlier, open your final video and tick the checkbox that says spherical. If your video is a VR video, also tick the checkbox that says 3D top bottom. Next, click save as to inject the metadata in a new video file and upload this file to YouTube. Once you've uploaded the videos, you can watch them using most modern browsers, for example Firefox or Chrome, and using the official YouTube apps for Android and iPhone. To watch VR videos in 3D on your computer, you will need red sign glasses. To watch them in 3D on your phone, you currently need an Android device, however iOS support may come as well. They recommended me to buy the Go4D C1 glass to watch the videos in 3D, which costs only $22 and I'm very much satisfied with it. You simply attach it to your phone, hold it in front of your eyes and it blends the side-by-side -side images together so it appears in 3D to you. You can use any other cardboard instead of course, but this is a relatively cheap one with a good quality. Finally, remember that VR videos may cause nausea for your viewers if the camera moves too quickly because their body doesn't feel the movement their eyes perceive. Therefore, unless you want to make a no vomit challenge video, try to have slow camera paths in your video. That's basically about it. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. The replay mod, the metadata injector and the Go4D glasses are all linked in the video description of course. As always, thank you for watching, make sure to give a like if you enjoyed and maybe a subscription for future content. See you next time, bye!